Hello, my name is Lindsay Donnelly. I am Head of Art and Design and Moving Image Arts in Campbell College. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about Moving Image Arts as a subject, um, why we introduced it, what it involves and what our students gain from the subject. So if you were wondering what Moving Image Arts actually is, it was a qualification that was started in 2004. Um, it was started up by SEA, the Northern Ireland Exam Board, and they worked together with um, Northern Ireland Screen, who helped them to develop the course. Really what they wanted to do was to create a qualification in digital filmmaking um, and to encourage the film industry to keep growing in Northern Ireland and for us to be able to have our own skills base in the country so that whenever film industry people came here, uh, they didn't have to bring their own crews with them. They had a bank of uh, talent here that they could tap into. So our pupils can get involved in moving image arts um, at GCSE, but obviously we try to incorporate it into our art and design curriculum before then. So we have elements of um, film study and elements of storyboarding and animation in our Key Stage 3 schemes of work. Uh, also we run a film club for year 8 to 10. So the film club runs on, at lunch times weekly and students come along to it and we are signed up to an organisation called intofilm.org. So through End of Film they get an online membership and they can, we watch films, we discuss them and we do film reviews. So the students can go online, can write their own reviews and can win prizes through that. So we've had students who win goodie bags for review of the week um, and they'll get free DVDs and badges and clapperboards. And um, it is something that really encourages boys to start to get passionate about film, not just watching it, not just making it, but actually talking about it. And that as well for literacy has been a really big benefit of, um, of, of bringing in moving image arts and bringing in more elements of film into Key Stage 3 work. Moving Image Arts is the only uh, qualification in digital filmmaking in the UK at GCSE and A level. So it started initially as an A level subject. Uh, we brought it into Campbell in 2014 as an A level choice. And the reason being, the thinking behind it was that we thought it was a really interesting qualification that as a curriculum, when you actually look at the, the specification of it, there is so many areas for building skills in there and it's a really um, holistic and well-rounded qualification for students to take. They, even if they don't want to stay within the film industry, it gives them skills that they can carry into any other field they decide to go into. So we brought it in as an A-level subject um, and we also find that we were keeping two different types of students. So we were holding on to art and design students who also wanted to broaden their experience um, in the creative fields. So they were able to study art and design and all of the areas within that more, more traditional area. Um, but also then to study moving image arts where they were learning about um, storytelling, about lens based skills, um, about how to project manage from start to finish and learning the, uh, the, the theory around um, film, the last hundred years of film. So we found that it was really successful and that way we were holding on to students um, who were art and design students and maybe decided to take both subjects but we were also keeping hold of those students who we knew were intensely creative students um, who weren't interested maybe in more traditional media, um, students who were really interested in, um, in lens-based media, who wanted to tell stories, who wanted to be able to work with stories and music, who maybe were wanting to go into um, a certain specific area, such as being a storyboard artist. Um, so we were holding on to students that ordinarily maybe would have left our department and we were, really were broadening the curriculum in our departments and, and adding another string to our bow in that respect. So Moving Image is an applied qualification. It is a very practical qualification, but the students also have to learn and develop knowledge, um, knowledge, knowledge of the film industry, of film history, critical understanding of uh, film language, narrative representation and audience responses. Um, they need to be able to investigate the work of other people. So that works in, in two different ways. They, they learned the film theory and film history, which is tested at the end of the year in an exam, which is 40% of the A-level qualification. And they also have then their coursework, which is 60%. So at the start of their coursework, they really do learn about um, film language, about analytical skills, and about how to um, critique the work of other people 
and find work that really inspires them to create their own project. That is used as a springboard then for them to create their own film ideas and develop the rest of their portfolio. So they have to write a screenplay, they come up with their idea, they come up with um, a screenplay, they learn how to write in industry format. Uh, once they've written their screenplay, they can develop their idea further through uh, working out visually what they're going to do, working out um, contingency planning, working out ideas for costume, hair, makeup, um, practical filmmaking skills. So they learn all about how to practically use the camera, how to set a camera up, how it works, uh, how to edit, how to um, create interesting effects through film, how to look at the work of other people and work out how they did something specifically and how to recreate that kind of technique themselves. Um, they put all of this work into what we would call a sort of digital portfolio. It's um, a visual sketchbook that uh, a director's notebook is what they call it now that they compile all of their, their research for their film into. So you really do get a sense of what it is they're trying to go for. Um, so once they have all of their planning done, their screenplay written, then they have to shot list, they have to storyboard, they have to work out health and safety considerations, they have to think about all the equipment that they need, they need to organise themselves. Um, so really they learn skills that comply to any other field but um, it, it's a really good exercise for students I think to be able to see how and work out how to um, to build a project and to see it right through from, from initial seed of idea right through to um, a final piece. So once they have their film done and they filmed everything, they edit the whole thing together. They have, um, we, we build into our schedule a little bit of time for things that have gone wrong. So they can do reshoots and they can fix the things that didn't quite work for them. Um, and when they have their film completely finalized, then they evaluate the whole process. So it was about keeping a record of what went well, what didn't go well, what how they problem solved. Um, how did they fix the things because things do go wrong and how do you actually get around those problems so we you know we look at how creatively they've managed to overcome difficulties that they've met along the way so the skills are really um, they're really uh, wide ranging and, and the students do learn a lot about themselves in that process too so it's a very very valuable process what we notice is that students who do it at AS really do learn so much from that process because they made a film in AS which is for sorry three to four minute film in AS and then in A2 they make a four to seven minute film and the the leap in the skills that they've developed between AS and A2 is phenomenal because they have learned all of the things that can go wrong they've experienced it at AS um, they understand how things can go wrong um, that even they haven't anticipated um, so the, the the leap in the skills that the students have developed between AS and A2 is really um, something else. I'm studying ASMIA. I enjoy both the coursework and theory elements of the course, with both parts helping with the production of a final film. We are currently focusing on Alfred Hitchcock, the classic Hollywood style, and how to implement um, these into a coherent and seamless final film. I love MIA because I just really like watching films, and now I've gone to make some of my own, and I've always loved photography and MILAs helped me become better at it and I've also got to learn a lot of new skills like editing and setting up lighting and in the future I'd like to go to university for filmmaking and then get a career in the film industry. I've decided to study moving image because I've had always had an interest in a film have wanted to make it for such a long time and where it could lead later in life, maybe a career in animation or directing. So there are a lot of organisations and competitions that our students can get involved in outside of school. The work that they produce in Moving Image Arts obviously can be entered into different showcases and festivals. So we've had students who have been successful in getting into the Moving Image Arts, the SEER run Moving Image Arts showcase. Students who have won um, in the AS category and in the A2 category. We had a student uh, a few years ago who won best in Northern Ireland, so he won the top A2 film. Um, and his film actually went on, Rory, Rory Fitzpatrick, his film went on to be shown at various film festivals across the world. He won a Remy Award in Texas 
uh, which is a, a film festival that Steven Spielberg, I think, won his first award at. Um, he won around different festivals in Ireland and in Norway, and his film travelled around. He was also shortlisted for Cinemagic Young Filmmaker for the same year. Um, so we've had students who have had success in that, and we encourage our students to um, to get involved in that and to to put their films forward for that each year. We also have students who will apply for outside industry experience and they can do that through a few organisations. So the British Film Institute run a, an academy every year that they can apply for. It runs around the UK um, and they have a Belfast based academy which is um, every year we've had a few students who have been involved in it. So they always have to apply to get onto that, they have to interview and they then if they're successful get the chance to work with industry professionals and do um, do workshops and traineeships and to work with a group of people to create their own piece of work in a team so they each take on a role within that. Uh, there is the Screenworks Academy and this year we have um, three students who are involved in the Screenworks Academy so they can apply to, to develop skills in different areas through Screenworks. We have some boys who are doing the Animation Academy this year through Screenworks and that in itself is brilliant for them because obviously we teach about animation and we teach them techniques in animation, but to be able to learn from industry professionals and to get that kind of advice, especially if it's something that you're planning to do in the future and you want to apply to, um, to a specific course for that particular area um, is, is really invaluable. So if parents want to learn anything more about Moving Image Arts, you can visit our Firefly page you can visit our section on the CCB website and also you can have a look at our CCB Art Instagram account which keeps track of what's going on across the department in art and design and in moving image arts.